Hi guys, my name is Stefania. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do my Sephora VIB recommendations. So these are just like my favorite products that I definitely recommend, like 100% recommend. And believe me, I have a lot. So um, nothing crazy in this video, but like what I mean is I test a lot of makeup. So these are like my favorite go-to products that I would recommend spending the money on, especially during the VIB sale. And we'll talk more about the sale when we get into it. But yes, Sephora has surprised us this year. So that was really creepy. I'm sorry. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this video. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified. Give me a big thumbs up if you like these types of videos because I like to talk. So I like these types of videos. And let's go ahead and get in. All right, trying to shake off my negative feelings because I just did this review of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Vault collection. I don't know if that's going to be up before this video or right after, but I've never been so frustrated while filming a video ever. So yeah, that was fun. Anyways, sales make me happy though. So let's talk about it. Sephora this year has decided that they're doing a beauty insider appreciation event. I really hope this means that they're not going to like get rid of the one right before Christmas because that's a great time to buy Christmas presents for a discount. So I'm really hoping that that doesn't go away because of this because I'll have more money then because I know to save up for it, you know? This is a nice little surprise. So Rouge gets that it all depends on your points as far as what your status is. Rouge means you spend an insane amount of money like myself and you have a problem. VIB is like, you know, you have a little bit of a problem, but it's not too big. It's manageable and Beauty Insider is like, you're fine. Do you make up, you know? So Rouge, you get 20% off August 24th through September 3rd, VIB 30th through the 3rd, and August is, I mean August, Beauty Insider is August 30th through the 3rd. So you kind of have a little bit, You, the more you spend, the more of a window you get to shop and you can use that code as many times as you want throughout that time. So it is the best time to buy stuff. All right. So let's start with some skincare. Obviously you guys know, or if you don't know, if you've only if you've never watched my videos, um, with my skin, I've been very, very, I guess, safe with it. I, I have not been using foundation now for over a month. Um, so these are products I use, but I don't have a ton of skincare is what I'm saying. Uh, but these are products that I know don't break me out and weren't part of my problem. And a few of these have helped me for sure. Um, for as far as Clinique, take the day off. It is my favorite balm to take off my makeup. And it's a little gross. But um, just one little tiny bit of this, put it on a Q-tip, put it on your makeup. They're much better than the makeup wipes. Makeup wipes just don't get everything off. Whereas this really gets everything off. So I really like this. I know my face does have a good reaction to it. So pretty much I'm in that place of, if it doesn't make me break out, I love it. <laughs> uh, next is this moisturizer from Herbivore. It is called Pink Cloud Rosewater Moisture Cream. I have talked about this before. I do not usually like rose scented things and it does definitely smell like rose, but it's not overpowering or too strong. It does look like cottage cheese. Um, which is a little bit weird for a lotion, but it gives me a really nice glow and not make me feel oily. Like the Drunk Elephant one is just too heavy for me. I know everyone loves the Lala Rich, but, but it's just, it's too heavy for me. I don't, I need something a little bit where I don't feel like I have a film over my face, essentially. Um, other skin care. Like I said, I don't have much. Everyone and their mother recommends the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. I have not met like anyone that doesn't love the smell of this. It just makes you so happy getting out of the shower and putting this on. It's of course supposed to improve your skin, helps tighten and smooth like no other. That's not true. It doesn't do any of that stuff, but it smells amazing. So I'm totally fine with that. I don't need to do any of that. So I really just use this on my arms out of the shower as a moisturizer and yeah again with the spray the spray unfortunately doesn't last that long I'm just gonna it just makes me in such a better mood it's just so it's so good my favorite scent for sure I could wear this every day and not get sick of it the only thing I would say is 
it doesn't really last that long or at least on me it doesn't last that long it's kind of like i feel like sprays in general compared to perfumes you have to like use it every hour so i really only use it when i'm at home because i can spray myself constantly way too much i believe that's it for my skincare so let's go into makeup i don't have a ton i'm not going to talk about a million things because i just feel like yeah i really only want to give you my favorite like definitely recommendations and not really go into things that I'm just like, oh, I like this. It's not bad, blah, blah, blah. Like these are my top of the top favorites that I would repurchase. So that's why I recommend them to you guys. Or if I don't mention one, I don't have a favorite yet and I need one. So if you guys did not know, Charlotte Tilbury is now sold at Sephora. I don't believe it's in stores or at least any stores that are around my area, but it is online. So I love the Feline Flick eyeliner. It is a felt tip. It is so nice and small. And I can definitely do a wing with this without a problem. I am a felt liner type girl. This and my Kat Von D Trooper are my top two favorites for sure. Next is this Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder. She's a little expensive, I know. That's why you get a sale price. She looks like this. It is a powder that you just put underneath your eyes. I really just use it for my T-zone area, but it really does. It's called the Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. My face, if I need it to look nice, I use this. This is a, I would spend the money on this over and over and over and over again to set your concealer, to just brighten up your skin. Like I do shade medium too, and this has been one of my favorite purchases, makeup products I've ever made. It makes a huge difference. So I really only use it to brighten up my under eyes, kind of around my mouth, just T-zone area, and just bring some light to my face. Um, so those from Charlotte Tilbury, her lip cheat, like Charlotte Tilbury has some really great products. So her lipsticks are great if you're looking for a lipstick. I always recommend more expensive stuff on the sales because, you know, you get a deal that you never get. So the Pat McGrath, you guys know I've done a lip swatch video on these. I absolutely love these, partly because of the packaging, but they are gorgeous lipsticks. I have Peep Show on my lips right now, so if you're looking for a good nude. And then this is Candy Flip, which I absolutely love that shade as well. So I do really like these. They are matte. These are the ones I got in matte. I think I have a few in the Luxe Trance, and they're still just as good. So either way you go, you can't go wrong. Speaking of Pat McGrath, she got some palettes. So if you feel like being pricey and there's a palette you've been really eyeing, her larger ones are 125. Sorry, on the noise, the clinking. So this is the one that I have. They're kind of more collector's items. Like the packaging is gorgeous. They're bulky, heavy. They're definitely not a travel palette. It's more of a collector's item. And I only have that one. However, if I was going to choose, I would say get the smaller ones that are only like 55 bucks compared to 125. Um, and these are gorgeous. This is one of my favorite palettes I purchased this year. The shades are beautiful and they go on like definitely, I would say this and Natasha Denona are the best shimmer shadows. It's that one. These are other swatches from, from the last video. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend any of the Pat McGrath palettes and I don't think you'd be disappointed just not that pricey but yeah I would get another small one speaking of other eyeshadows this is the only other eyeshadow palette I would suggest not necessarily this one but if you're wanting to try out the Natasha Denona palette then I think the sale is the right time to do it so whether that's this one or any of the other ones this was like a holiday edition um but if you're looking for amazing quality eyeshadows, I would go with Pat McGrath from Natasha Denona palette. Okay, as far as concealers go, I mean, I don't really have too many favorites. Tarte Shape Tape, I want to really try Born This Way, so that's on my list as far as to get. But I also really like NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer for every day if I'm not going to do a full face of makeup. Tarte is just a little bit too much coverage when I don't wear foundation. 
you know? So, Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I use this every time I do my makeup and it's just that salmon color. I put it on right before I put on concealer and it really does a good job of brightening up. And yeah, this is probably not an exciting product, but one that I would repurchase again and again and probably reach for the most out of a lot of other products, just in general. I recommend the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. Um, I'm just someone who needs that really extra attention to dry crusty lips I have, and this actually helps. So I leave this on overnight, and my lips feel good for like an hour <laughs> uh, when I wake up. But that's just, I live in Arizona, it's environmental life. You know, can't do too much. The Huda Beauty baking powder was another favorite that I've had this year. I'm in the shade Banana Bread. Although I don't like the smell, the smell does not stay on. And I really, this has probably been my favorite powder this year. So that is another big recommendation. Hourglass has come out with a ton of really great products. Um, they just fit, they just fit. They go on your skin so smooth, they never break me out, and they're just gorgeous powders. So today, I have this Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer on, and it does have a shimmer in it, but I still really like it. And it doesn't look like it would do much, right? Like, But it's one of my favorites. So I really like that. They're blushes as well. I have the shade Dim Infusion, which is like this corally pink. I have that on as well. You cannot see it because I don't go heavy with blushes, but there's another one. Marc Jacobs is another bronzer I recommend if you do not want the shimmery one. So this is what she looks like. This is the Omega brand bronzer in Fantastic, which is all over YouTube. So, um, but the pan size lasts you forever. Might as well get it on sale. I'm almost done here. The last thing I'm going to really recommend to you guys. All right, I have two things. I have th three things. Okay, the sticks from Smashbox, the contour, they come in a kit. It's like a contour bronzer and a highlight stick. I really only use the contour stick out of it, but it's not that expensive either. And they're my favorite. They are the easiest things to blend. I've tried a million of them. I've tried the Hula Quickie stick. I've tried the KKW, like, this this one's my favorite for sure from Smashbox. As far as eyeliners go, if you're looking to get some fun colored eyeliners, Marc Jacobs, these highliner are my favorite. I don't like the ones with glitter in it, but all the matte shades I really like. And you can get so many different colors. So I highly recommend and they never irritate my eyes. So yes. Last thing I have to mention are the Kat Von D lip liners. This one in D minor is probably my favorite. These are more of a cream than a pencil, but they still stay on a really good amount of time. You guys cannot really see the color there. Okay, there we go. But D minor is one of my favorites. It's such a good like mauve neutral color, but her lip liners work great. So that is it guys for my Sephora VIB recommendations. I'd love to know what you guys are picking up, what you guys would recommend, Tell me what to get and happy shopping. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Why can't I ever talk when I'm filming? You know what I'm talking about though, the makeup wipes. Those do not take up all the makeup, all my makeup off. I don't know what I'm talking about. Bye. Those do not take up all the makeup. Dreaming. I'll be dreaming.